Lone Ranger. Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. There's nothing but wastelands that way, Toto. I think we're more likely to find water holes if we follow the fork to the left. Me hope you're right, Kimasami. Water plenty low. Yes, I know. I'm worried about Silver and Scout too. They can't keep this pace up much longer. I'm getting plenty thirsty, Kimasabi. If we go slow, maybe it's easier on them. Yes, we'll have to. We better conserve the water. We don't know how long it's got to last us. You're right, Kimasabi. Come on, boy. We no find water here, Kimasabi. Water holes all dried up. No rain in sight. No chance for water now till we reach Greenville. It's a long day's ride. Let's push on. This is the worst dry spell in 50 years. My cattle don't have to read the papers and know that. I tell you, Ezra, the situation is desperate. We'll all be wiped out if rain doesn't come. I'm trying my best to help things. Every night I rub my rabbit's foot and walk backwards into the house. Well, what good does that do? Well, my granddad said that it was a good way to bring on rain. I've seen it work, too. And I've seen him end a dry spell by burying a cow's skull in the dark of the moon. Oh. How did you, Hello. I wonder if I could buy some cigars. Yes, help yourself. I was interested in what you gentlemen were saying. Do you uh, really believe that your grandfather brought on the rain? Yes, sir. I've seen him do it, too. You mean it just happened to rain? I agree with him. It's probably just a coincidence. Rain either falls naturally or is brought on by scientific method. Scientific method? That's right. There's always plenty of moisture in the atmosphere. And there are ways to concentrate this moisture, causing clouds to form and rain to fall. Do you know anyone who can do all that, mister? Yes, I do. Have you seen it done? I've done it. What? You have? My name, gentlemen, is Phineas Stacy. I'm a rainmaker by profession. Here are clippings showing localities in which I have produced rain. My methods are the result of years of study and research. Say, we could use you around here, Mr. Stacy, if, if you mean what you say. Well, my wagon's down at the end of the street. If you'd like to see my rain-making equipment, I'd be glad to show it to you. Well, I sure would. Me too. These are my aides, Pete and Mac. How do you? Howdy. Howdy, gents. What is all this stuff? That, gentlemen, is rain-making equipment. These are aerial distillation coils used to reinforce the natural moisture in the air. And these are vacuum ovens. These are kegs of blasting powder and fuses. What's the blasting powder for? By my secret process, gentlemen, I increase the moisture in the atmosphere. It then becomes essential to make this moist air rise until it meets the cooler air above. Now, by scientific timing of explosions, the moist air is heated, causing it to rise rapidly, expanding dynamically as it encounters the cold air. This, gentlemen, causes the formation of rain clouds. Sounds great. How much do you charge to make rain, Mr. Stacy? My fee including materials and time involved, is $5,000. $5,000? But, but I give you an ironclad guarantee. If I don't produce rain, I don't accept a penny. That's fair, isn't it? That yeah, certainly is. It's a deal, Mr. Stacy. I think we can raise the money among the ranchers. Fine. When you get the money, put it in the safe for me. You do have a safe in town? Sure, in my cafe. Very good. Put the money in the safe as evidence of your good faith. Remember, unless I produce rain, I don't accept a penny. Is that agreed? It certainly is. I'll get permission from your sheriff to set off the explosions. The sheriff uh, left for the county seat yesterday with two prisoners. Won't be back for a couple of days. Well, I'll arrange you so you can blast. Fine. If you need any help in persuading the other ranchers, why, you just call on me. All right, we'll do that. Fine. Thanks. Come on, sir. Let's get going. Well, boys, it looks like everything is all set. The sheriff's away. That makes it almost too easy. I always pick my towns at just the right time, you know. What kind of safe's that cafe fella got? It's an easy box to crack. Yes, we're going to have everything our own way. Uh, 
Looks like a boy's pony. Yeah, but where boy? Hey, help me out of here, please. Take it easy, son. We'll get you out of here. Well, there you are. What happened? My pony threw me. And I couldn't get up on account of this. And you hurt leg? No, not this time. I broke it two years ago, and when it healed, it was crooked. Where do you live, young fellow? My dad's ranch is two miles south of here. He's Jim Blasdell. Who are you, and why are you mad? You'd better let us give you some water. Come on. Take it easy, Jackie. There's not much in it. Thank you. Oh, hold on there. We'd better take it home. Jackie, I've been so worried about you. What happened? Who are these men? They're my friends, Mom. My pony threw me and my leg got caught behind a rock. He pulled me out. Are you hurt? He's all right now, Mrs. Blasdell. He was badly shaken up. I think he ought to lie down and rest for a while. I don't really need to. Yes, you do. I'll put you right to bed. Thank you so much for bringing him home. Mask or no mask, you seem like a nice man. Thank you, ma'am. Could we fill our canteens and water our horses? All right. But please be sparing. Our supply is so low. The water pump's over there. Come on, Jack. Hey, you. Get away from that water. We've come a long way today. Our canteens are empty. We don't have enough for ourselves. And I'm not sharing my water with any masked man. Now, on your way. Now, you don't need that gun, Mr. Blasdell. I'm not an outlaw. If the water's for sale, we'll pay. Well, it's not for sale. You can buy some things in Greenville, but not water. Now, move fast. Jim! Jim, wait. Let them have the water. They're friends. Stay here. But don't touch it until I hear what she has to say. The situation here is even worse than I thought. This town is desperate for water. Clouds over hills now, Kimasabi. Maybe rain in two, three days, maybe sooner. You're usually a good weather, Profitano. I hope you're right. Say, mister, my wife just told me about you bringing my boy back home. That's all right, Jim. Well, that makes me feel mighty mean. I'd like for you to take all the water you want. Water your horses, too. Oh, thanks. We won't waste a drop of it. And say, uh, when you get through, could you come in and visit with Jackie? He has a special reason for wanting to see us tomorrow. I'll be glad to. What's the reason? Well, have you ever heard of a party known as the Lone Ranger? Why, uh, yes. Have you? Sure, lots of times. I don't take much stock in the stories, though, but they do make good telling for my youngster. Oh? Yeah, I tell him stories about Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett, and the Lone Ranger, and... Say, you know what? What's that? Well, this ranger is supposed to ride a white horse and wear a mask. And, well, my wife tells me that the boy thinks that you're him. What's the Indian laughing about? I guess he's amused at my being taken for the Lone Ranger. So you wouldn't mind just to humor him a bit, huh? Not at all, Jim. You tell Jackie I'll be there in a few minutes. Good. Looks like little fellow will think plenty much of you. Yes, Tonto. I only hope I can live up to the story that Mr. Blasdell has told Jackie about me. Sometimes son have more sense than father. Him no Lone Ranger real person, not just legend. That's why you not let him down. If Jackie believes in what I stand for, then when he grows up, he'll fight for the same things that I do. Me understand, Kimisabi. Good boy make good men. Help bring law and order to West. That's right. Come on, we'll have a talk with him. Well, Jackie, how are you feeling now? Fine. You know something? What's that? I'm glad my pony threw me, because that's how I met you. Dad's told me a lot about you and Silver and your adventures. Sure I have. Jim, Ed Rance is here with Mr. Stacy. I'll be right in. Excuse me. Certainly. I know who Mr. Stacy is. I heard Mom and Dad talking. He's a rainmaker. He is? Yes, and folks pay him money to bring on rain. Jim, I'd like you to meet Mr. Stacy. Howdy. Howdy do. Dad's told me all about you. When I met Jim in town, Mary, I told him I wouldn't call on him unless we couldn't raise the necessary cash from anywhere else. He told me. How much money did you get, Ed? Not enough, Jim. Everybody in town chipped in, but we still need your help. Can you really make it rain, Mr. Stacy? I believe so, Mrs. Blasdell. I've done it many times. You see, 
We have $500 saved up to take our boy to a famous doctor in California. His leg's crooked. But they say this doctor can fix it. I understand. But, Mary, if we don't get rain, this will be a ghost town. You won't have any ranch for you or Jim and Jackie to live on. Besides, there's no risk. If Stacy fails, we all get our money back. I wouldn't urge them too strongly, Rance. I mean, I know how they feel. It's their boy against the town's welfare. All right, you can have our money. Fine, thanks, Jim. I knew I could count on you. Now, you give Dudley his money tomorrow morning, and he'll put it in the safe with all the rest. Is that all right with you, Mr. Stacy? Certainly. I'll begin operations tomorrow around uh, noon. Fine. Goodbye, Jim, and thanks a lot. I only hope you don't let us down, Mr. Stacy. This is a matter of life and death to us. You don't like Mr. Stacy, do you? Why do you say that, Jackie? Mm, your mouth set sort of hard when you were listening. You're very observant. Well, tell him when I must be going. Can I have one of your bullets? Yes, of course. Silver. That proves it, doesn't it? Yes, Jackie. That proves it. You'll come and see me tomorrow afternoon? All right. Goodbye. I'm worried, Tom. Do you not trust that Stacy fellow? I certainly don't. He sounds like a fraud to me. That's not what townspeople think. That's because they're so desperate for water, they'd believe almost anything. Like drowning man clutching at straw? The people aren't really stupid. They're just frantic. That's what makes them more gullible than they'd normally be. Man, plenty low if he'd take advantage of people in bad trouble. They don't come any lower. I wish I knew some way to stop him. Him not sound dishonest, Kimisabi. Him say if him not make rain, people get money back. That's what I can't figure out. He must have some plan to get the money. Rain or no rain. Maybe if we see him, we find out more. He's too cagey for that. He can't lose anything by getting a look at his setup. I'll ride into his camp. You wait close by in case there's trouble. Come on. Now reach for your guns. A friend of mine has you covered from those trees. What is this, a hold up? I don't rob people, Stacy. Do you? I don't know what you're talking about. And besides, I don't know why I should be answering questions by a man who's afraid to show his face. You should be ashamed to show yours if you're planning to cheat the ranchers here. I'm not cheating anybody. I'm a man of science. You call this ridiculous talk about rainmaking science? Yes, I do. My friend, why don't you go back to your train robberies or whatever game you're in and leave me to my business? I'm warning you, Stacy. I'll be watching every move you and your men make. You try anything crooked and you'll hear from me. Do you figure he is? Oh, some owl hoot hoping I'd probably cut him in on this deal. But I don't fall for that kind of a bluff. We don't want anyone stirring up trouble now. Is everybody here sold on us? Can you imagine these town people around here listening to what a masked bandit has to say against me? Stacy is clever, Tonto. So far, he hasn't made an illegal move. I'd like to know what he's up to. What we do, Kimasabi? All we can do is watch and wait. You keep your eye on this wagon in case of trouble. I'll scout around the outskirts of town and see what I can learn. I'll meet you here later. Come on, Joe. Yeah. There's the receipt for your money. It's the first time that this safe has ever held $5,000. Mary and I are going outside of town to watch the blasting. Coming along? We all are. It's going to be like a holiday. Everybody's closing up and going out to watch the explosions. Well, come on, let's go. Got to go tell Mr. Stacy that all the money's been collected. See you later. Yeah. Hey, Dad, do you think Mr. Stacy will really bring rain? I'm counting on it, son. He doesn't trust Mr. Stacy. Who's he? The Lone Ranger. Oh. Then I know what he would do if he was me. What? He'd watch this, Mr. Stacy, and he'd... You gonna come along with your mother and me to watch this blasting? No, thanks, Dad. I gotta be at the ranch this afternoon. He's coming to see me. Well, then you'd better get moving. <laughs> Hi, boys. Everything all set? Yep. Got all the charges placed and all the fuses attached. Any people show up? Just about everyone in Greenville. There's no one left in town. Well, that's the way we want it. Now, remember, don't try to blast Dudley's safe until you hear the rest of the explosions go off. Sure you'll be back here by the time we get the money? Don't worry about that. We'll be across the border before anybody knows what's happened. What are you doing back here? Nothing. Let go of me! 
Uh, the kid must have heard every word we said. All right, but he's not going to repeat it. We'd better do something about it quick. I don't lose your heads. We got too much at stake to risk a murder. Lock him up in that shack over there. Nobody will think to look for him there. And if you let out one yip. Come on, keep moving. You'll never get out of town. He'll see to that. Who's he? Santa Claus? He's my friend, the Lone Ranger. He's right here in Greenville. Put that gag on him, Pete. He's masked and has a white horse, and his Indian friend rides a pinno. Shut up, you little barman. Hey, wait a minute, Pete. That man had talked to me. He was masked and he rode a white horse. Anybody can get a white horse and put on a mask. Getting scary? Maybe I am. I'm telling the truth. I can prove it. Reach in my pocket. See what you find. You got the Indian there, I suppose. Silver bullet. Silver? The kid is telling the truth. And when he finds I'm missing, he'll come looking for me. <laughs> Don't shoot. Let him go. Are you crazy? You go straight to his pal. That's what I want him to do. Hurry up and gag the kid. I still don't get it. What's the idea of letting the Indian get away? Now, this is the idea. When he hears the Indian story, the masked man is going to come here to get us and save the kid. You and Pete will be hiding outside. Then we'll gun him down. A lot of men have tried that, but he always outshoots him. That's right, so wait till he goes inside the cabin, slam the door and snap the padlock. He'll be trapped. And beneath the cabin, there'll be a full keg of blasting powder. With a slow burning fuse. Meanwhile, I'll carry on with my blasting activities outside of town, so when the cabin goes, it'll be just another explosion among many. Great. Then we'll crack the safe. And go on with our plans. I get busy now and plant the powder beneath this shack. I'll go and entertain the yokels. You come quick, Kimitabi. Stacy and men lock up Lame Boy in old jail cabin. Him need help fast. Too solid to shoot through or break down. So long in there. You won't be seeing us, but we'll hear from you. Them go. I wonder what they meant. That meant we're gonna die. I heard them say they were gonna blow the shack up. Let me see my fuse burning. The window tunnel. It's our only chance. Silver can help us. Here, Silver. Silver. Come on, big fellow. Hurry, boy. Hurry, Silver. Hurry, big fellow. He's coming. He's coming. Come on, Silver. That's a good boy. Come on, Silver. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Easy. All right, boy. Go ahead. Come on, Silver. Pull hard. Come on, Silver. Pull. Pull, Silver. Pull, boy. Pull hard. Come on, Silver. Go on, Silver. All right, pull. Come on, Silver. Pull, boy. Wind are giving way. Pull, Silver. Pull hard.
Here's the money. Those blasts sure sound good, don't they? Sure hope they're getting $5,000 of the fun out of them. Drop that money. Put up your hands. You said you'd hear from me again. You were right. Well, boys, you blast that safe? All right, Stacy. That's far enough. Get over there. Drop your gun. Tie them up. It looks like stormy weather for our rainmaker and his pals. You're right, Kimasabi. Plenty of rain comes soon. Lanchers not need worry. You'll come and see me again someday. Whenever you need us, Jackie. Come on, Tato. The whole town is grateful of that masked man, Mary. Stacy and his men are in jail, and we all got our money back. We owe him the most, though, Jim. He saved our boy's life. Now we can get Jackie's leg fixed as we planned. Jackie certainly idolizes him. He has good reason to, Jim. Hear that, Dad? It's thunder. He said it'd rain and rain's coming. He sure called the turn. Jim, is that masked man really the one that Jackie thought? Go ahead, tell her, son. Sure, Mom. Like I said all along, he's the Lone Ranger. Hello, silver! 